So this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you some different hotkey and arrangement techniques um, to make that your sequencing and reason a little bit faster. Um, I'm only going to show you a few techniques that I use. There's a lot more, um, and I'd suggest exploring around. Um, most most of the uh, commands you can find by uh, hovering over parameters in parentheses, like for this, hitting T will use this mutual. Um, so you can find out hotkeys that you use often on your own. Uh, but I'm going to show you the main ones that I use. Um, and some of them aren't labeled, so hopefully this will be helpful. So to start off, um, I'll often have a, a loop that I have um, when I'm s starting to create a song. I'll, I'll come up with a drums and I'll add some different elements to uh, sort of get some sounds that I, I know work well together. And then after I get a basic loop like this, then I'll start arranging it. So, uh, for example, uh, the first thing that I would probably do is drag my total loop over. Um, so, this is going to be where I'm starting my song, and this is just the sort of bank of uh, different elements that I'm going to be putting into my song. Um, so, to start, I'm going to want to start with percussion, so I'm going to have that over there. But I don't want all the percussion to come in at the same time, so I'll start to sort of cut and delete things. Um, to note what I just did right there, uh, holding option down when you drag an element, you need to hold option down all the way to, to when you release, but uh, if you hold option down then that will copy whatever you're dragging as opposed to just move it. So normally it would just move, but if I hold option then it copies it. Um, and so then um, uh, that that's a quick way to copy and paste things. This is also useful for if you actually have something playing. Um, for example, if my cursor is playing here, I'm like, oh, I want to bring in my percussion element, then I can do it while it's still playing. You can't do that with the copy-paste method, because once you copy it, and you start playing, then you can't paste it, because it's going to try and paste it wherever the playhead is, and the playhead is moving. Um, yeah. So this is useful uh, for that use. Um, so I don't want all these elements in yet, so I'm going to start deleting and cutting. Um, so I could select cut up here, but I'm going to use R. Um, note QWERTY will be these commands up here. Um, I, I'll only use the mouse tool, the pencil tool, and the cut tool when I do stuff, so I really only use QWR. Uh, but, yeah, so anyways, um, I'm just going to start doing basic arrangement stuff. So that's how I basically want my drums to start. Um, then I'll probably have this element come in. Um, so now I'm going to move, move along to the next section. Um, and uh, I'm going to move my... Uh, my loop section now. Um, I don't want, I mean I could just drag these over and that's fine, it works. Um, but sometimes when you're arranging you'll, your, your players will be at the beginning and so you have to scroll all the way to the front, drag them all the way back. Um, it's not very practical so um, holding command and clicking will move your right playhead and holding option and clicking will move your left playhead, I mean your left loop head. <laughs> Um, and if you want to move the, this end marker, um, then you would hold shift and click. Um, yeah. So anyways, that's that. Um, so I'm going to do my next section. Uh, I want my drums to come, this kick drum sounding thing to come in. Um, and I'm going to... I mean, I, I'm sort of getting unnecessary with what I'm showing you. This is, I'm trying to arrange this like I actually want a song instead of showing you stuff. Um, but um, I, I guess it's more practical uh, if I if I show you how I would arrange this song. Um, so anyways, uh, moving stuff along. Um, we have that. 
Uh, and if you want to move your cursor to the beginning, there's a couple options. Either you can drag it to the beginning, uh, you can hit stop twice, or uh, like this says when you hover over it, uh, you do shift return to, to stop to the beginning. Um, so it, if you're not aware of this, when you are playing, um, let me let me start it from like right here. Um, if you're playing and then you stop, so I'll hit shift enter. Um, the first one will just stop it wherever wherever you were. Um, it's it's still where it is, and if I play, it'll just continue from where it was. Um, but if I hit stop a second time, then it will go back to where it last started. Um, and then if I hit a third time, then it will go all the way back to the beginning. Um, so that's a useful thing to know. Um, so hitting stop three times will get you back to the beginning no matter what. So in a lot of my videos, it'll hit me just click the stop button a bunch. And that's because I want to have it definitely reset from the beginning. A lot of times I'm going to be starting it from the beginning each time, so I really could have just hit it twice. Um, but I mean, I'm just in the habit of hitting it three times just because I know I want it to start from the beginning. Um, so that's uh, another basic tip. Um, also, holding command and hitting enter is record. Uh, just as another quick little thing to know. Um, and yeah. I think I'm going to end this one for, for now. I'll probably do another video where I get in more depth into hotkeys and everything. Um, but this, these are my uh, main hotkeys that I use to really speed up the process. Um, so hopefully you got something out of that. Thanks.